class, welcome back. I'm Matt Fisher, your accounting professor. In today's video, we're gonna be going over things such as responsibility accounting and looking at different responsibility centers. It's really important that we understand this information as we continue on in the next chapter also, because we need to evaluate businesses. We need to evaluate managers. We need to evaluate different divisions or departments. But we wanna make sure that we understand those areas before we just start analyzing things. We wanna know what it is, what it does, what their objectives are, so that we can then decide, well, what information do we need to properly evaluate these areas? So first of all, let's take a look at a responsibility center. A responsibility center is part of a business where managers are responsible for certain areas, okay? So they're responsible for certain areas such as maybe a cost area or a revenue area, or maybe an investment area. Uh, we'll, a little bit later in this video, we'll talk about each one of those in more detail. Now, what is responsibility accounting? Well, this is identifying the responsibility center and the objectives of that responsibility center and then figuring out how to properly analyze uh, those areas. All right, so now let's talk about the responsibility centers themselves. What are the responsibility centers? Well, in your textbook, uh, more than likely they go over four responsibility centers, the revenue center, the cost center, the profit center, and the investment center. A revenue center is where a manager is responsible for sales or revenues. So we're looking like at the sales department or maybe even a marketing department. They're really looking at sales and seeing how sales can, can grow, how we can improve on our sales. So that's what a revenue center is. So obviously we want to evaluate them on how good they are at generating sales and revenues for the company. The next one is a cost center. A cost center uh, doesn't usually involve anything with revenues. They're concerned with costs. So let's look at a manufacturing plant. That's a really good example. A manufacturing plant would be a cost center because they're not in charge of revenues. They're not trying to sell the product. What their goal is, is to make manufacture a product that is a good quality product, but trying to control those costs so that we can sell it for a good profit and low costs. So that would be a cost center. A profit center is where you might have a manager who's responsible for both, both a cost center and a revenue center. So that manager might be in charge of uh, the South region. If they're in charge of the South region, then they're in charge of sales and the, the cost of the manufacturing of that product. So they would be in charge of a profit center because they're looking at sales and profits. So we want to evaluate that area, that division, or that, that manager properly. The final one is the investment center. This one's similar to the profit center, but there's one more key part to it. So they're in charge of profits, so costs and revenues, but also this area can, can invest in assets. So they can purchase buildings, they can expand the business. So an investment center, like I said, uh, is in charge of revenues, uh, in charge of costs, so the profits, revenues minus costs are the profits, and then also investing in assets, equipment, uh, trucks, buildings, you know, expanding the business. So they're responsible for those assets and possibly the replacement of those assets. Okay, class, I hope this video has helped you. It's not that difficult, but you do need to know these terms. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at investment centers and how do we evaluate these investment centers. All right, class, I hope to see you back again soon. Good luck in accounting.